Over the years, many sports teams have called Roanoke home, but there is one specific team that combines some of the Star City's greatest in uniform and puts them on the field. Here today to talk about the Roanoke Rampage is Greg St. Clair, president of the board of directors, and Derek, uh, Darren Beckner, one of the players. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us this morning. Thanks Thank for you. having us. All right, so tell us about the Rampage and who makes up this team? Uh, Roanoke Rampage was originated in 2010 by Captain Todd Stone with the Roanoke City Fire Department. Him and a group of his co-workers and friends wanted to do something for charity and found out they all had a mutual love of football and came into contact with the National Public Safety Football League. Uh, all the teams, the players involved are all either public safety officials, police officers, fire or military. Uh, plus it sponsors charity. Uh, so they formed the Roanoke Rampage, which is a 501c3 charity organization. Uh, we play for local charities, and we play in a national uh, national league uh, from California to New York. All right. Mm -hmm. So how long have you all been around? Uh, since 2010, so this will be our eighth season, uh, starting in 2017. And you've had some pretty good success. Tell us about your record. Yeah, um, last year we was 3-1. and one. Uh, We started off a little slow, smallest team in the league. Roanoke is the smallest market in the, in the league. Sure. We play against Los Angeles, New York, uh, Chicago. So the big guys. The big guys. And... Um, NYPD and FDNY and Los Angeles, they're all in our league. Uh, but we uh, started off slow. Uh, we were the team to get the free win with in your, in your schedule. And uh, we just developed, we recruited some of the agencies. Uh, their players come from outside the Roanoke area, New River Valley, Central Virginia, Lynchburg, and state police. And uh, we was able to recruit, get some good coaches involved and recruited, and uh, just developed a program. And. Uh, Went to the first championship, Division II championship in 2013, and went to our second one last year in 2016. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So, Darren, tell us a little bit about you. How'd you get involved with Rampage? I got involved in 2012. Um, friends of mine started playing and asked me if I'd be interested in playing, and I was like, absolutely. So, It sounds like a lot of fun, too, as well as yeah, you know, getting a little competition going in yeah, there. It's, it's competitive. You have uh, really built some camaraderie with other, uh, other departments and everything that you wouldn't necessarily be able to come in contact with on a daily basis. Absolutely. You all play in the National Public Safety Football League, uh, which has some great charitable efforts. What local organization does your team support? Uh, last few years, we've uh, supported Straight Street here in Runa, the Teen Outreach Center, um, trying to get to our youth. Um, a lot of our uh, public safety uh, officers, police officers, have interaction with them and figure it was a good correlation between the team and our members and, and, and what they do here for the Roanoke Valley. And you uh, also support other local projects and groups that support first responders. Mm -hmm. Right. We've uh, sponsored some first responder uh, cancer charities, uh, try to stay in touch with them, and also just events around the area we try to sponsor, co-sponsor with, and promote. All right. And so with you all having some pretty good seasons here lately, uh, where can folks uh, see you in action? Uh, we play at William Fleming High School is our home field. Uh, Roanoke City uh, Schools has been really generous to us letting us use that field, especially William Fleming and their boosters and the athletic director. Uh, that's where we also practice, but we play two games at home and two games on the road. And the two ha games at home this year is April 22nd, Charlotte comes to Roanoke, and June 3rd, Cleveland comes to Roanoke. All right, we've got that information up there for you, and we'll also get it up on our website as well. Check them out. And we do want to thank Greg and Darren. Thank you for coming in and talking to us this morning. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate it very much. Thank you.